Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday, June 4th. I can't believe it's June already. That is just, that's crazy to me. Um, it is about 1.35ish in the afternoon and I am exhausted because literally I didn't work today so all day today I've been with my mom and my sister and we basically are doing an entire full cleaning day. So all this morning we were at the car wash and we cleaned all of our cars. We vacuumed the inside, the rugs, cleaned the outside, all that. And then we came back here and we've been cleaning my apartment. So yeah, it's just been a day, but I figured I would start another vlog. I'm sorry for how awkward the last one ended where I said it like to be continued. Um, well, here's the to be continued part. I. I originally signed off like said bye in that vlog and then for some reason that footage would not like save to the vlog so I just cut it out and just put the end credits and then I'm just starting another vlog here. So you guys want to see more vlogs on my channel but I'm trying to make them shorter so I am here today kicking off a new one. Um, I just finished washing my sheets so I'm just making my bed right now. My mom and sister are getting food to bring back and then I think we are going to go down to my dad's and clean his apartment. So it's just been a very busy day. I'm absolutely exhausted, but it is what it is. But the whole kitchen is clean, laundry is done. I wiped down the couch, um, washed the blankets. The dogs are absolutely exhausted because we brought them with us to the car wash just so they could get out of the house. So they're very, very tired. Yeah, but it's been a good day because it hasn't been very hot here. So I haven't had to have my air on. So it's really nice, fresh, cool air. So that is a good thing. But I am in the process of making my bed right now. And I'm just waiting for my bedspread to finish up. Then I'm going to eat some yummy McDonald's. And then I'm going to go clean my dad's apartment. And then I am for sure taking a nap today because I am absolutely... I'm exhausted. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Halloween season because even though it is like four or five months away, I still like to get a head start on all of the looks that I wanna do and I've already started purchasing stuff. I like to do looks that I haven't done before every year. I've never done the same look twice. So again, I'm gonna follow that same trend and do a whole kinds of different looks. Um, last year, my Halloween looks did not do as well because of everything going on with YouTube. Um, they don't allow graphic or horror related things on YouTube anymore. So last year did not go very well. Um, but so I'm hoping this year is going to be a lot better. I'm hoping that YouTube figures their shit out so you guys can actually see my Halloween looks. But there is going to be one that is going to be probably the biggest challenge for me ever because it involves a bald cap and some scar wax. So I'm really nervous about it, but we're going to embrace the challenge. It's probably going to take me literally all day to film because I'm not special effects certified. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. I'm going to do, I'm going to challenge myself. So I hope it works out, fingers crossed. And then I have a other few really cool looks that I want to do. And I asked you guys on my Facebook page what you wanted to see on my channel as far as Halloween looks so that's what I've really really been planning lately is just all my Halloween looks that I want to do I hope you all are doing well I hope everything is a-okay in your life um, I also need to go get a fill this week on my nails because they are grown the f out so yeah that's really it nothing really too exciting happening this week um, I've also been kind of preparing and prepping for Carnival of Chaos, which is only one month away. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. We're doing a lot better this year. Like we're bringing a lot more supplies. We got a bigger tent. Um, I'm going with my friend that I go with every year. So I just wanted to stop in and start another vlog for you guys. I will vlog in a little bit when there's something to possibly vlog. But until then, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in the next clip. Bye.
So we're trying to watch Amityville Horror, and Avril <laughs> doesn't want anything to do with it. She is petrified. <laughs> Sister, you gotta call it, it's just a movie. And Jackal, he's just sleeping, like he's just fine. But she hates it and she keeps farting. Like she won't get off of me. Like and every time I walk somewhere through the apartment, she follows me. Hi guys, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. I don't know what time you're watching this. It is maybe 5.40 p.m. right now. I woke up from a nap about an hour ago and just pulled up my YouTube channel because I uploaded a vlog today, uh, which would have been my last vlog from this one. And I was just reading the comments because I asked you guys for like a lot of feedback on like what you wanna see more of on my channel, like what direction you think my channel should be going in. And I got a lot. A lot of feedback I got a lot of really good comments I got some that were kind of surprising to me but you know that's fine I asked for you guys to give me a full and complete honest feedback and you did and I I really do appreciate that um first I did <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys my nails because I got them filled today but I wanted to add like a little bit of a color to them because I was just like I want a little something, but obviously I can't have it too out there and in, in your face. So this is what I got. I don't know how well you will be able to see, but it's like a sparkly. So it's just a little bit of sparkle. It's just something a little bit different and just something like prettier to look at rather than just plain natural acrylic. So I went and did that today after work and then I came home and just crashed. That's basically how my day has been going right now. Um, I'm honestly just gonna chill the rest of the night and I think tomorrow I'm gonna have a filming day. If I can stay motivated, I'm trying really hard to like stay up and about and motivated and all that good stuff. But yeah, so some of the feedback I got was kind of surprising and what I mean by that is like people were comparing my channel now to how my channel was back in 2014, 2013. It's like, so I got, <laughs> well, I think one of the weirdest comments that I got is someone mentioned the way I was back when I was with my ex-ex-boyfriend from like 2014. She said that I was more full of life, I was happier, kind of insinuating that I was happier with him than I am now. And I didn't, I kind of had a hard time understanding that comment because you guys, 2013 and 2014, that was, you know, four, four or five years ago. Like, of course I'm not the same person that I was. And of course I was happier and more full of life and more passionate about, you know, doing YouTube because you guys have to remember, back in those times, I did not work another job. I did not have my own apartment that I paid for by myself. Like, of course things are different now. Like, I get up, I go to work, I'm tired. Like, I have to work because I have an apartment to pay for. Like, yeah, so obviously I am going to be a little bit different than I was back when I was, you know, 19, 20 years old, not having any responsibilities, not having any money responsibilities, just like drinking on the weekends, drinking during the weekdays, sleeping until two o'clock, like, filming all day, like of course obviously I was happier because that's a lot of an easier life to live. It didn't have anything to do with who I was seeing at the time. So I just kinda, I kinda had a hard time. I kinda struggled with that comment a little bit because I can't, I don't like when people assume that I'm happier with men because that's not the case. Like I fucking hate men. Like they are vile, disgusting creatures to me. So like, I don't, I didn't really understand that comment, but like, obviously I am, I am a, as a person am going to change throughout the years. Like that's just kind of a given, especially with everything considering, you know, back in 2016, I feel like that was one of the biggest changes that I will probably ever go through in my life. But it was just, it was not a good year. That summer, 
was one of the worst times that I, I wouldn't even wish it on my worst enemy. You guys know I lost Motley. You know, it's just, it's something that even to this day, I'm still trying to get over because it was so, it was just not, it was not a good time for anybody. Like it was such a shitty time, but it's over with, it's done. And I feel like that experience kind of molded me into who I am today and of course it's not going to be who I was when I was 19 you guys like you you have to understand that and some of the other feedback I got was oh well when you vlog you should you know vlog drinking with your friends different places because you never seem to leave your house well one thing you have to understand about me is I don't drink that much I drink maybe I drink very heavily once a year at the music festival I go to and the rest of the year I only drink like a couple times a year like I, I don't go out every weekend I only have one friend that I see regularly and she works and we just I just don't do that and another thing of course why would I go to different places and vlog when I am a homebody like I know a lot of people make fun of me for it they say oh Brie is always at home she doesn't have any friends she never goes anywhere like yeah, you're damn right because I don't want to go anywhere like I like being at home I got a lot of people saying that I shouldn't change my channel at all which I do kind of agree with because I feel like the true passion and love that I have for YouTube is uploading content that I like uploading content that I'm comfortable with and I'm not someone who likes to go out of my comfort zone very much and YouTube is very much my comfort zone and I don't want to do anything to disrupt it or disturb it or make it make it go in a direction I don't want it to go. I just kind of wanted to word vomit that stuff out before I forgot any of it. This is what you get guys and this is this is how it is in real life. It's not cookie cutter it's not perfect i'm not going to be happy all the time i'm not going to be full of energy and full of life like i was back when i was a teenager like it's just it's not how that works like i started i started my channel when i was doing it full time i started when i was like 18 19 i'm gonna be 25 so just kind of take into account look back on when you were 19 or when you were 13 or so on and whatever like were you the same person that you were then as you are today and I usually hate when youtubers say this but like I feel like I'm an actual example of someone who's changed like every other youtuber who says they've changed like they just they came into a shit ton of money that's what they describe as change but me like this is an actual change this is someone growing up and learning things and going through god awful relationships and doing things in America by themselves so I just want you guys to kind of understand and I'm not trying to like dwell on it too much but just feedback like that really kind of gets to me thank you guys so much for listening I really do truly appreciate it let me know what you guys thought of the beginning clips of me grocery shopping did you like that style would you want me to do it a different way next time um just let me know down in the comments and that would be great so I will talk to you guys in the next clip bye So hopefully you can hear me okay over the air conditioner, but we got um, a new neighbor next door, um, right next to me, and he has a dog, and I actually met him today, and he is honestly the sweetest guy, but he has a little terrier, and he brought over a whole bunch of these blue buffalo hearty beef stew, like kind of like wet dog meals, and he his dog won't eat them because I guess she's a really picky eater, but look how cute these are, like homestyle chicken, hearty beef what else do we have here more chicken um, and it looks like we have chicken dinner and more chicken stew so I just thought that was so sweet of him um, I don't feed my dogs wet food that often but when I want to give them a little bit of a treat like this would be perfect for them like I can just split these with them I love it like I just thought that was really nice and I just wanted to share that with you guys but yeah really really nice guy the neighbors that we had previously or honest to god nightmares so this guy is like a blessing in disguise but i just wanted to show this because i think it's so okay, so cute hello guys good afternoon today is friday june 8th it is about 10 after 12 and i just got ready because i am going to film today i'm going to try to film at least 
at least four to five videos today and I think the theme that I'm gonna do today is every time I film a new video I'm gonna have a different lip color this one that you are seeing is dirty money by Jeffree Star Cosmetics I haven't worn this in a hot minute so I decided to give it another go today last night I ended up just making dinner and just relaxing the rest of the night I didn't really feel that great I ended up getting like a really bad stomach ache so I just kind of laid low last night I went to import footage from my vlog camera to my computer so I could start editing it and I noticed that my camera was off but the lens was out and it wasn't turning on so literally I started freaking the F out because I literally thought my vlog camera was broken so I plugged it in I did like a reset on it I took the battery out and put it back in and now it's working but I was literally like I was scared shitless because my vlog cameras are on $400 and if I wanted to get another vlog camera similar to this one that would be like another $400 so I was just like I was having such a freak out I just oh I don't know it was but I think it's fixed now hopefully it doesn't do it again at least I know how to do a reset on my camera now so later I may take the dogs on a WALK because they seem a little bored they always get really bored on days that I film because obviously like I'm not interacting with them I'm working working I guess you could call it so I think afterwards I might reward them with a little WALK and then we can have some of the blue buffalo meals would that be yummy? Yeah. I'm gonna go get to filming and I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Hi guys, so it is now quarter to three in the afternoon. I am wearing Jeffree Star Cosmetics Restraint liquid lipstick on my lips today. I've, I've had it for, oh my gosh, since like this Valentine's Day collection, but I have not worn it yet. So today is like my first day wearing it. So yeah, I filmed a total of four videos, all different kinds. So I have a little bit more of like a variety on my channel. I am absolutely starving. I have not eaten anything today. So I'm gonna make some lunch and then I'm gonna start like importing some footage onto my computer so I can edit tonight, tomorrow, whenever. And yeah, and I'm also keeping up on my vlogs too, so that's really good. And then the 20th, June 20th, is Jackal's eighth birthday, so oh my gosh, I just, I can't even believe it. So I think me and my sister are going to bake him a little cake and, you know, just spend time with him. So I think you all can probably guess what I'm having for lunch today. Tacos. So I'm just going to take like four of them. o'clock so I'm going to feed the dogs I feed them every day around the same time um, sometimes they eat it right away sometimes they don't but I usually like to feed them at 3 o'clock so it's like a routine for them um, I chose 3 o'clock because that's when I'm usually home from work and not really doing anything um, and then if I have like a closing shift at like 2 I'll feed them like an hour earlier but usually 3 o'clock is when I feed them you guys hungry are you hungry what's a breakfast my food's done. Avril, are you hungry? Yeah? Jackal, are you hungry? Want something to eat? You hungry? That's Jackal. And Avril. Sweetie. There you go. Jackal, you get yours out here. That is a beautiful sight. That is a beautiful sight. Love it. I'm going to eat my lunch, um, get a little bit of editing, start some laundry, maybe take them for a WALK. But until then, I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Hi. Hello again. Sorry, it has been again another few days since I have vlogged. I don't know why I do that. I just get like so busy with other things that I'm just like, what even is vlogging? So, um, hi, I'm back. It is about 3.25 in the afternoon. It is Thursday, June 14th today. I know that because my best friend is in school to be a paramedic and she just passed her test. So I'm super proud of her. I actually got her a little bit of a present, which I'll show you guys. It's nothing big, but like I saw it and thought of her 
and I had to get it for her. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. I wanted to come on here and update you guys because I have a couple of surprises that I wanted to share with you. So it was Sunday, I was at work and I was just out of nowhere because I'm very impulsive when it comes to things like this. Just out of nowhere, I was craving a new piercing. So I texted, I'm eating, I'm eating chips and cookies and a Mountain Dew and watching Younger, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> I texted my piercer. I was like, hey, like I'm really in the mood to get stabbed. Like when can I come see you? So Sunday night at around five-ish, I went to Lightning Revival and I saw my piercer, which is the lovely Valerie. And I got two new piercings. I'm sure you are seeing one of them right now. So if you guys do or do not remember, I used to have the other side of my nose pierced quite a while ago and then I took it out. It was kind of an accident and I could never get it back in again. So I just kind of let it go. And I've really recently been really missing it. So I decided to get that redone. So that is the first one that I got. So it matches up with this first guy right here. I am going to match it. So there is gonna be two on this side as well. We just wanted this one to heal up a little bit first. And the other piercing that I got, I can't really show you guys because it's in a private area, but about two and a half, three years ago, I went and got my right nipple pierced. Well, I decided to match the other side and get my left one done. So now both of my boobies match each other. So yeah, I'm going to do like a full in-depth video all about my new piercings, like how they felt and things like that. But I just really wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really excited about it. I haven't gotten a piercing since October. That was my septum. So it's been quite a while and I was just like really, really itching for a new piercing. I actually was going to try to get an industrial and I know a lot of you are like, what? Because way back in the day, like when I had my pink hair, I talked about how one of the piercings I would never ever get is an industrial because the healing process is just 110% brutal so I just I never wanted to get it well I was thinking about getting one right here because I already have this guy well I was thinking if we could just add another one here I could just slide a bar in and you know do it that way it would just be a lot easier but because industrial piercings have to be done at a certain angle this piercing isn't pierced at that angle you know so I would have to kind of go like either down or in between these two to get one so um, we did talk about that though but I didn't end up getting that obviously I just went with the nose and the boob so I mean they're not really like new piercings but they're kind of like well I mean this one is and this one's just kind of like a a piercing that I got redone basically but yeah I really wanted to share that with you guys because I'm sure a lot of you would probably notice that and I just wanted to talk about it but there will be like a more full in-depth video about um, pricing pain all that kind of stuff uh, basically all day today I have been editing I was super busy yesterday I filmed a couple videos I filmed a Q&A mukbang with my sister which is gonna go up tomorrow which you guys will already be seeing and then I also filmed another video that I'm doing with my dogs and then after that, I rearranged my whole entire bedroom and I even repainted my bathroom. Back when I moved here, I took this apartment as is. Like I didn't have them touch up the paint or clean anything. I just bought it, cleaned it myself and everything. So my bathroom, as far as like paint goes, was looking really, really rough and it really needed a refresh. So I just kind of repainted everything white. And my bedroom, I will go ahead and show you guys really quick. And then I'll show you what I got my friend for a present. So my bed is not made, but basically when you walk in, I moved my bed this way. It used to be where my dresser is. So I just kind of like flip flop the two and I rehung my little canopy thing. So yeah, I just kind of rearranged everything. I have like my little nightstands, my bed. Jackal has his whole corner. I moved my dresser over there and then Avril still sleeps down there in her little crate so yeah i just kind of did that spur of the moment like i figured i want to change so there you go when i moved here my bedroom was originally set up like this so i don't have to move or do anything with the pictures which is good I'll show you what i got my friend for a little present now like i said this is literally like nothing exciting but she's the kind of person who like appreciates the small things in life and I'm hoping she doesn't watch this video, 
before I give them to her because I don't want the surprise to be ruined. But I was in a little store, my mom and sister, and I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get these for her. And so my best friend has like this obsession with lumberjacks. Like she's really attracted to them. Like flannel, facial hair, everything like that. I saw these little plates and napkins and I lost it. So here is what the first one looks like. It has a little lumberjack here and it says birthday party, but I figured she could use these to like celebrate passing her class to eat on or whatever she wants to eat on these or just keep them like this because I can see her doing that as well. But it has like a little bear with a camper and a lumberjack with an ax. Like I thought that was so cute. And I also got the little matching napkins with it as well. And then I also got her these plates, which is like flannel on the outside and then it has like the wood engrave. <laughs> I just thought that was the cutest thing. So I just got these for her just because like they were kind of funny, kind of cute and I figured it would make her laugh and that makes me happy. So, yeah, that's really all that's going on and then Sunday is Father's Day which me and my sister are going to take him out to eat and probably watch a movie with him because like with everything going on um, with his health we really want to make this Father's Day count for sure. So yeah, that's really all that's going on with me. I just wanted to come back and give you guys a quick little update because I know it's been a, a couple days again. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far. Sorry, my hair is a mess. I literally like rolled out of bed this morning and I watch YouTube videos and then I've been editing. So I'm having a lazy day. Like I don't even think I brushed my teeth today. Sorry, probably TMI. Yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next clip. See you later. Bye. Hello, welcome back. It is Friday, June 15th. It is about 5.30 at night right now. I got out of work like super early today, which was really nice. And then I went and ran a couple of errands with my boss. I came back here, I took a nap, I had some taquitos. It's been a great day. And while I was at Walmart, there's been like this project that I've kind of wanted to do and it's a little bit crazy. It's kind of like, you don't have anything else better to do with your time. And I get what you're saying, but it's, it's gonna be really cool. So you guys know my all time favorite makeup brand to purchase from is Jeffree Star Cosmetics, okay? Ever since his brand came out, I literally purchase something from every single launch that he does. Like I just, I love Jeffree Star. I love his cosmetics line. So if you guys have ever ordered from there, you'd know every time you do, you get like a picture that comes in the package that like kind of goes along with whatever the, um, product that he was launching. So I have kept every single picture and what I was doing is I was just shoving them all in one picture frame and then I would like alternate the pictures every once in a while. Well, I got really sick of doing that. My picture frame kept breaking. So I was like, you know, I'm going to do like a really cool project so that way I can see all the pictures and it would just be really cool. So, and I also bought a few products off of, what was it? Beauty Bay, I think. He also does sell a few of his things on there. And when I received that package, I got sent with it this really cool wrapping paper of all of his tattoos. So I was like, this would be such a cool project. And someone actually recommended this to me. So I'm actually going to be vlogging me doing this project. So let me show you everything that I have for this. Okay, so here's all the supplies. I got this poster wall frame from Walmart. This was about $12 and I got a matching a uh, poster board that is the same size. It's just like a little like flimsy like school poster board that you would use for projects. And this is the wrapping paper that I'm talking about. It's like black and white. You guys probably remember this. I've literally kept it since this package because I knew I was going to use it. But it has like all of his tattoos, his stomach tattoo, his cat woman, his hand. Just like it's really, really cool. And then these I already went through every single picture that I owned and these are like all the ones that I want to use. So we have like the picture from him and Nate's collection, one of his first ever, yeah this was like one of the first ever pictures that came in the packaging. We have his skin frost picture. Good boy! Is it your toy? Wow! Okay but don't mess up the paper. You guys are so cute. Good boy. That's your monkey? What a good boy. Get it, Jackaberry. So we are gonna get started and you guys can watch me create this. So the paper is just a tad bit too small for the poster board. Like there's maybe like an inch or two where it's like bare. So I might just kind of like 
overlap the paper, kind of like that. I know that probably looks really strange, but yeah, I guess that could look kind of cool. So we're just gonna see how this goes. Gosh, this came out so cool. Look at that. And it actually ended up working out perfectly because some of the edges of this paper didn't touch the bottom of the poster board. So I thought there was gonna be like this really awkward white line, but it's like seamless all the way throughout. That is so cool. I'm so glad I did this. I have winged this bad boy. dope shut my bedroom door oh hi oh hi Jeffrey how are you oh my god I love it I'm obsessed go me